What's up guys? Just uh, shooting a quick video I guess. I'm not sure if this might be part of the full growth series. But um, I inoculated some greens about a week ago. These are some blue oysters. And I just got some substrate ready. So we're going to inoculate the substrate. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let's get to it. Uh, first I like to, I guess, see how this jar is nice and loose. So. I like to just break my jars down first before I do anything, and then, because um, it just makes everything easier to dump into the bags. So, I'm just going to go and do that with all the jars. I'm going to grab my substrate. Um, it's in my pressure cooker right now. Yeah. So, we're going to grab that. We're going to turn the flow hood on, um, and I'm going to do a time lapse so that way you guys uh, don't hear that. And yeah, so let's get to it. <laughs> so there you go i'm just gonna go ahead and finish shaking those jars up making sure they're all dispersed it's gonna be much easier for me to dump in the bags as you will see in a second so i'm kind of gonna showcase two ways the second way is better so first way i put everything in there and as you can see i kind of just put the bag in there and i don't really let any air from the flow hood uh, go in there and now what happens is it makes the bag really tight and it makes it kind of hard to disperse the grains in there afterwards. Now as you can see with the second bag, once I'm done dumping the grains in, I kind of let it um, take in a little bit of air and, and as you can see it's a little bit kind of bloated and now the shaking part is much 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 easier and everything's going to get dispersed and we can ensure an even colonization uh, this way. Okay, and uh, this is how I make my substrate now. Um, I will grab a bowl, a scale, and I do kind of like a 50-50s master, but I don't do 50-50, I do like 70-30. Anyways, uh, we got some hardwood fuel pellets and some soy holes pellets. And I'm gonna get the wood pellets to about 1.7 Pounds. Yeah, 1.7 pounds. No, it's not. Yeah, so I'll go to 1.7, 1.7 pounds of hardwood pellets, and then I'll go 0.3 pounds of the soy holes. That's 1.7. Alright, and that's 2. I'll grab my bag. And we dump it in here. Now, my pressure cooker fits 4. Um, so while I'm doing this, I actually have some water. Uh, heating up, boiling. It doesn't need to be boiling, but I do like to have uh, hot water. You can go with cold as well, it's fine. Um, but each of the bags are gonna get uh, six cups. So I'm just gonna repeat that process for this and uh, we'll go up and pressure cook everything. Close them up. Let me see. Just 
see the corners, kind of line them up. And I like to go down the seam and kind of keep this lined as far down as I can. So I'll kind of push the crease in and I'll do that for the other side as well. I also like to have the filter patch facing me when I do this. And then I'll slowly kind of take my hands right here and I'll push at the back like this to get the air out. And once I've reached the bottom of the bag, I'll kind of give it like a push like this. And then this will leave me some space. I can go ahead and tuck it right under like this. And the remaining of the water, I'm actually going to use to fill the pressure cooker. So that way, I don't waste any water. I guess I will go ahead and time lapse this and uh, catch you in a sec. All right, here's a shot of my floor. Just kidding. So I'm gonna show you how I actually load the bags in the pressure cooker. So this little thing right here is where the lid That's gonna be the access point right here. That's where it latches. So I wanna make sure my bags are not like interfering with uh, the bottom of this or any of these. That's why there's a plate on there like this. So so I show how I fold um, the bags under, but I actually fold the first ones that go at the bottom. Uh, they need to go this way. They need to go uh, horizontal the bottom ones and then I like to have the top ones vertical so that way when I shut my lid it like leaves a space and you'll see but the first uh, ones that go at the bottom I don't tuck them under because there's gonna be some water possibly like touching so the way I fold these is okay, let me see yes, you can see okay. so I will grab um, I'll do the same thing get all the air out and then once I'm at the bottom, instead of pulling it under, what I'll do is I'll, oops. So I'll get my filter patch. So I'll fold it so that my filter patch right here gets folded right here. And then I will take the top right here and fold it one more time. And then that way, um, those go at the bottom because the blocks on top are gonna sit right here and keep kind of like that seal. So let me load it up and yeah. So. Okay, so for loading up again, horizontal on the bottom bags, do not worry too much about the flaps opening because when we add the top blocks, it's gonna kind of secure everything. And next step is going to be pressure cooking. Uh, I like to pressure cook for two and a half hours at 15 PSI. We'll add the plate on top again, and uh, yeah, if you're enjoying, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Psyche, out.